along with his team for a victory here. It's a sellout crowd. It's the World Championship gold medal match. And it promises to be epic. The teams are ready. The crowd are definitely ready. It's Poland in red serving Brazil in the yellow and blue receiving this, the gold medal match from the FIVB Men's Volleyball World Championship here in Italy. And a serve from Bieniek that didn't find its mark gives Brazil the opening point. This tournament has been co-hosted in Bulgaria. The first time a World Championship has been co-hosted by another country. It has been a raving success. And it comes down to this match now. Drishka. Lipe gets shut down. And the mark of Kurek is brought to bear. Zhuzhka. Good pass by Kubiak. Schalput gets it into transition. Clever play. Kurek does. Well, he has found the sideline. Oh, it's been given us out, actually. The line judge said it was in. Poland said they, they think it's in. So we're going to have a challenge. A reminder to those that have been watching and those that may not know what's going on. The challenge system is available here. You can challenge the ball in and ball out, and when you do, you get an animation. It tells you whether it's in or out. That one is out. You can also challenge whether the ball, whether there's been a, a series of, of faults, a foot fault from serving the centre line or the three metre line. You can challenge whether the ball has touched the antenna, whether there's been a block touch, whether a player has touched the net. Who touched the ball last on a block out attempt? Wallace. Good work by Kurek. He was an emotional wreck after the semi final victory. He collapsed on the floor in a heap, just like you see tennis players. After a, a big, big win. <laughs> KG start this. Unlucky for Zatorski when things like that happen. Lupe with the serve. Lupe was talking earlier in this World Championship about how fortunate he is to be here, to be selected, to have a chance to play in a World Championship. And now he's here, he'll definitely be wanting to get that gold medal. He already has a silver, he doesn't want another one. 
That's in, that's beautiful from Wallacey. Wallacey, a player who also has a World Championship silver medal. Doesn't have a World League gold medal. Correct, rising to the occasion and getting the block out. Oh, yes, that's a huge block by Schalpuk. Poland know that Wallace is such a threat with his unique approach and the way that he can put the ball to the line on cross court. And Schalpuk did so well to line that up. Kubiak roaring his approval. Another big point for Poland. Those of you that uh, saw the lineup and would have noticed the fact that Poland puts. Just get that two. As we have a look at this one again. That's just brilliant. Full stretch. Bruno finds the middle as he normally does. game so far Kurek's going to look to blast this one into Brazil's serve receive unit only three players in receive Wallacey will not be involved oh he has blasted it in and he's blasted that ball into Lippe and Poland have a two point lead at the technical timeout that one off. It was a decent touch by Schalpuk. There's hardly any room to work with. Shall put, but that's the mark of a good hitter. He's able to hold that position, hit over his shoulder, and get the ball down. And that's the mark of years of playing together between Bruno and Lucas. From junior volleyball, right up through to senior international volleyball, they've been together. They've even travelled across the world together, playing in Italy in the same club. Then went back to Brazil to play in the same club. Another good swing from Kurek. 
20 kilometers an hour. Fantastic. That time Wallace puts the, the ball down between the block. What you're going to see a lot of in this match. We talk about high hands and attacking the block. Attackers will look to try and play the ball off the top of the block and then go long or go to the side away from where the defenders are. If you try and attack the ball steep against a big block like these teams have, you're going to get shut down very, very quickly. Also, the aim of a block is not to win points from the block. It is to slow the ball down and try and get it into transition, which is for the team to then be able to attack back. And we'll see, should see a lot of that as well in this game. Zhuzhka. Just incredible. You have no idea where he's going to hit that until it leaves his hand. That looked, to all intents and purposes, as if he was going to bring the hammer down cross court and then he just brings it to the line. Excellent work by Kubiak. He's always trying to drop the hammer when he hits it. And for him, with his height, he has to go quick, he has to look for the gaps in the block, and that's exactly what he did that time. Getting that swing away before Souza from the middle could come across and finish his block. Wallace again just picking the spot, one on one with a bit of space between him and the net and the ball goes down. Poland are going to challenge as to whether or not the ball is in or out. with the serve. Easy lead, that one for Schalpuk. Poland happy to put four players in serve-receive when they can, correct being one of those players. And what it's allowed Poland to do very well is close the spaces on court teams like to serve into. Very nice from Schalpuk. That was a good example of a player who's not trying to put the ball on the floor on the opposition side. He knows that's not possible with the situation he's in. What he's trying to do is get that ball off the block and away. And he's done that brilliantly. Souza goes back to serve. He's got a very good jump float serve from the position he's on directly cross court from him, which is why Poland have lined up the way they have to try and deal with that serve. And Kubiak's dealt with it excellently well. And again, Kurek comes in on the cross court and then attacks to the line. Got a nice little bit of spin on that one. Such a good arm, he's able to put through the ball.
Bruno's turn from the serving line. When you look at international volleyball and you think, oh, they're all two metres plus, they're, they're big guys. Anomalies of nature, well, they're not. Kubiak, one metre 90, puts that ball down off of a really good serve from Bruno, who's also one metre 90. We head into the second technical timeout. Poland have the lead. Sport, yes, you do defend your title because you were the person that won it. That's a great block from Kubiak as he shuts down Douglas. Kubiak lined that up really well. Sharp hook with the serve. Correct, standing his ground. Good work by Douglas to read that the block out was coming, and then Wallace goes with his trademark volley. There's only two players I've seen at this level of volleyball do this. Wallace is one, Kovacevic is the other for Serbia, because he just volleys it down the front of your block, which you haven't finished, and he gets the point. Douglas, two metres tall, whips through the ball. Kurek with a very good swing. He doesn't whip through the ball. He hits it with venomous power. It all comes from great core stability for all these athletes from to generate the torque to then turn that into speed and power to get through the ball. Brilliant from Lippe. That's the sort of thing that Brazil are going to have to do. Some teams have struggled to do it with the way that Poland have served so well and then put up a decent block. But this time, with that wonderful set from Bruno, Poland's block is split and Lippe finds a gap. Good cover by Zatorski. That's clever from uh, Brazil because they took their hands away in the block. Kubiak wanted to get a little bit of block out and what he's actually done is he's now carried the ball over and it's a carry given against him. Watch the ball stays in his hand, he pushes it and also to boot he touches the net. Correct again. Kubiak, I should say. He is a terrier. He puts this ball down and then watch. He just has a little stare through the net. Yeah, got you. And he will try and get into the psyche of the opposition. That's a good touch by... Uh, Kubiak. That time Wallace doesn't get his volley through. There's a chance here for Kurek. Recycles it. Perhaps a better chance for him, but it's Kubiak who gets the swing. It's been given as a touch off the block. And Poland take the point. Full to bursting here for this final. Such a hotbed of volleyball in Italy. Same too could be said of Poland. Such knowledgeable fans who love their sport.
Wallace, who likes to put this one down towards position one. Kubiak knows he's got some work to do here because Zrishka's also moving from that position. But it's Torski who nearly gets knocked over. Good up by Mackay. Clever from Kubiak. He really is the thinking man's volleyballer. Just takes his hands away as Brazil were looking to go block out. Once they've got it into transition, watch Kubiak, hands up, uh, hands down. Kubiak now to serve. Didn't quite make it over. Kubiak, the only player, of no, he's uh, playing his volleyball in Japan. He was playing in Japan for the uh, Osaka Panthers. Lippe. Had a, a chat with him after the match when they won their semi. That's an ace serve from Lippe. Not only does Lippe speak excellent English, he's fluent in Italian. Well, we thank the crowd for their support. And that is a marvellous serve from him. Oh, that's a good serve, but... It's an ace serve, it's two in a row for Lippe. Well, Lippe's story is a fascinating one. He was dropped from the Brazil squad for London 2012. He went there to London in the test event. As we see this one again, he was dropped from the Olympic Games. He was brought back in 2016, where he substituted in in the final and dragged the team over the winning line to take gold. He's back here playing in a world championship. Said how thankful he was to be here, to be a part of this. And you can tell he wants to leave with gold. That's not going to be in, so that one will go to Poland. But it's brought Brazil back to within a couple of points here and changed the dynamic of this set. Poland putting up the wall again. Well, Brazil think there was a net touch here. There's one thing that we see a lot of, particularly with the challenge system, is that the net's already moving. I like to call it the goldfish syndrome, where in this such a short rally, players completely forgot that the ball had touched the net earlier on in the play, and then see it going up and down after the play's finished, and think there must have been a net touch. Excellent, Isaac's also come to join the party. When he hit that one from the penthouse, Poland weren't invited. That's a good pass in the circumstances. Oh, Zadorski, oh, it's so close. He wasn't sure whether that was going in or out. He was running so hard, wasn't he? He actually ran into the floor. Like a drunk running for the bus. In this case, she bottom Euro. But Kurek is eager to get a swing. But he's not being allowed to. Excellent. Really good play from Poland. Even better from Evandro. Brazil are pumped.
good reactions, no carry, play on. And that's what Brazil do if Andro, 36 years of age, crushing it down the line. Good work by Schalpuk. Poland have sight of this first set. They have set points. We went for it. The misfire from Kurek. And now we just keep going until somebody gets two points clear. Double substitution is being reversed for Brazil. The one really unique thing about Brazil with William and Bruno is the dynamic of the team just doesn't change when Bruno's on and then when William comes on. One of the few, if the only, national team in the world where the two setters so equally matched, so good at what they do, they're able to complement each other. That one doesn't make it in. And Poland have their second set point chance. Poland red, the combination play, but in having to reach up to try and get to Douglas, they couldn't get their hands sufficiently far enough across the court to send the ball down in time. Nice from Bieniek. Very close to Lucas, but he didn't panic. He worked the ball off the hands, and Poland had the point. Bieniek, he's got this hybrid jump float, jump serve. He's gone with the jumper, but Brazil saved by that one, catching the top of the net and they have their side out. One of the most difficult players to receive a serve from is Bieniek because he can turn his jump float into a jump serve. Good hang time that from Lucas. Class player, Lucas. Brazil yet to fashion a set point. Lucas might try and do that here with his jump serve, no he won't be, that one not even close to threatening Poland. Another set point chance for Poland. Interestingly, Poland went round that rotation and didn't make their double substitution that they have been doing during this World Championship. They've got themselves in a good spot now, though. Zuzka's serving, they've got three front row attackers. Kurek being one of those players in the front row. He's against Wallace, and he's just made the block. That gives Poland the set, and they take it 28-26. Poland lead one nothing. If there's ever one player you wanted in that spot, it was Kurek. They left him out there, they didn't trade and put Kubiak out there. They got a really good mashup, and they got the point. I think he just said, yeah, baby, in Polish. Souza to serve, Poland up one nothing, and up by one point to nothing as they give what's classically known as Brazil a taste of their own medicine running that pipe attack.
Good lead by Lipe. Bruno with the serve. Schalpuk puts it in perfectly. And Kurek strikes again. I'm sure there are flames coming out of several parts of his anatomy. He really is on fire in this game. And he means business. Another one from Kurek. Lippe can't do anything about it, and neither could the block of Wallace or Lucas. Even though they had that lined up cross court, he still found a way to put it cross court. Novakovsky with the serve. Good swing by Wallace. Kurek went up, kind of went with a bit of a spread block. Took his eye off it, couldn't be dug by Poland. into his pre-serve routine. Oh, that's a great block. Zhuska shuts down Lippe. be a carry against Bieniek as that one rolled down in front of him. Very nice touch that by Lucas. Looking at the stats from the last set, Poland had plenty of serving errors, seven in all, but they had as many points in blocks and aces. So the risk reward worth it for Poland. Bruno, full stretch, no good. Oh, that's a good sneak by Mackay. Lipe with some work, that was a little bit tight. And then Mackay couldn't cover it. Well, that was a shame because he was pushed very wide, Lipe, which meant he only had that cross-court angle. The ball was outside the antenna. And Poland did really well to shut it down. There was no line for him to go to. And then there was nowhere for Brazil to go to.
Bieniek. He has a run up as if he's going to do a float serve, but can hit a jump serve. Serve receiver unit's not sure whether to stand up or go deep. And that means Souza's having to play that ball, which he really didn't want to have to play. But Brazil will have a chance here. That's a good dig. Oh, I say! Fantastic volleyball from Poland. Kubiak. What a cool customer he is. Could have hit that. Let it go. Did the right thing. Then he gets a chance as it pops up. And he sets the perfect ball for Kurek to smash it down the line on the 10. Phenomenal stuff into the technical tie-back. Poland lead by four. just get to see there now difficult that is to deal with had that been on the line there's no chance for Brazil because the ball is coming around at shoulder height with that pace on it great set wonderful set from Fabian Zuzka he's off court Really good shoulder strength, zipping it out wide. Kubiak finds the gap in the block. That gap's called the seam. And he worked it brilliantly. The weak point between the two blockers. <laughs> I say! Super Spike doesn't do it justice. Douglas with a warm up hit. Big block from Bruno. This time, Kurek is blocked big time. That's how you make up for it. Really good decision by Zhuzka. Kurek, the main threat, the go-to guy gets blocked. What do you do? You go back to him. And you get him back in the game, and that's exactly what Poland have done. Kurek re-established. Poland leading by three. Nice high swing from Douglas. Off the block and away. Novakovsky slicing that ball down.
Wallace can only tip. There's a chance here for Poland, but they can't get onto the ball. It goes back over. Wallace again. And how did he get that down the front of the block? Because he's a genius. Well, because Poland didn't finish their block properly. Poland didn't finish their block properly. Chance here. Oh, goodness me. Wallace is a is a a freak of an anomalous freak in the way that he can do these things. These aren't things you can teach people to do. He can just do them. That's ridiculous. Ridiculously good. This hit from Souza, from Douglas Souza. Douglas he has on the back of his shirt. The Brazilian players like to have first names or surnames. In, in Lippe's case, a nickname. Touch by Kohanovsky and a good touch by Satorsky. Correct. Good up, Bruno. Oh, that's fabulous by Lipe to bring that back into play. Quality rally. Poland take the point. So many good things going on. And the thing we don't take full appreciation of was the pass from the Hoss was so high that just for Bruno to make a decent set was impressive, let alone go quick. He makes an excellent dig the first time round, can't do it second time. Poland have the point, they lead by three, they're one set to nothing up. Brilliant. And that is the kind of level of swing hitting that you have to be able to do at this level of volleyball. It's not, oh, this is nice, pop it in, get out, be available. It's, I'm under pressure, I'm on the floor, I've got to get up, get out, be available, because this ball is coming out quick, and that's exactly what's happened. Look at the way he gets himself back to create that space as well to find the line. Excellent swing from Lipe. Pipe attack. Brazil haven't run many of them. I think Poland might have run a few more than Brazil have. Brute force that time from Kubiak. Gets the job done. Brazil run the pipe back. Kohanovsky, it was, you've got a touch, but it's Brazil who take the point. He wasn't really sure where that was going. Oh, brilliant! After being Bedazzled by Brazil's pipe, Kowanowski comes in and bewitches Brazil with that swing through the middle. What a serve that is from the 20-year-old Kowanowski, but it's Wallace who gets the block out. Again, Brazil under immense pressure from the serving of Poland. And it's such a good level that two blockers, and Wallace manages to find the gap. 
Well, imagine Konarski are in. As Poland employ their double substitution for the first time in the match. Lippe to serve. Brilliant. Souza bringing it back with him. Poland have the lead at the second technical timeout. They get stuck in Souza's arms and then he brings it back with him. He didn't really want to do that, but a very good shot from Kubiak. Poland are probably thinking to themselves here, the way that this set's gone and the balance of play, their serving has been so tough, which they know they can do, and it's providing them with what they want, which is Brazil out of system. Brazil not being able to run their middle. That next good ball in here from Brazil, you might just fancy Novakovsky to commit and try and see whether or not he can get Isaac, because they brought Isaac in now, Brazil to see if he can find a way through the middle. And that's just the brilliance of Bruno, because it looked like it might be going to Isaac. Milvakovsky went with him, and then he just pirouettes. A little bit of dirty dancing with that one as he sends it to Wallace. And he gives him it on a plate to hammer it down the line. to be for Isaac. Everything's at the top, and again, trying to run the middle when they can. Novakovsky committing, but couldn't stop it. Just the mindset of these players about what's coming and how they have to... Uh, fight for everything and know that this ball is not just coming over the net, it's coming over the net with interest, it's coming in so hard, so fast. Blink, you miss it. Blink, you could get hurt. Schalpuk did as much as he could, got the touch, but a nice clean swing from Douglas. Unable to back it up from serve. <laughs> Tales. No chance. Give me the 
a construir. Que que é isso? Douglas, escuta aqui. O nosso side-out, nós estamos em 70%. Nós estamos. Um erro aqui. Não. Agora, nosso bloco de defesa. Tá? Nosso bloco de defesa. Bloco, tocar, defesa, botar pra cima e partir pra cima. Tá? Sanidade está saindo. Tá? Aqui é tudo meio da quadra. Meio da quadra. Tudo que é lugar. É quatro, não tem paralelo. Os caras estão esperando subir, estão dando no meio. Vai juntão, vai juntão. Olha aí, vamos parar, vamos parar. Better ball in. And then Lipe up early. It got a little bit congested, but it didn't matter. Bruno still able to put this one where he wanted it. And then Lipe in quick enough to put it down and get a free swing. Correct. Brilliant again. Reliable. Guiding Poland to the 21 point mark. A fascinating point score in volleyball. Because when it goes to 25, normally the team that got the 21 first win the set. More often than not, that happens. Good touch. Kubiak. Swing chance. Goodness me! You have got to be kidding me! Unbelievable! Brazil backed off. They thought this was going to be just a little roller. That they were going to get a free ball, maybe. They nearly got hurt. Yes, indeed. Absolutely amazing. performance from Poland and despite the brilliance of Brazil they don't seem to have any answers Wallace save your pictures Wallace wandering around on court just shrugging his shoulders and holding his arms out as if to say what do we do what are we doing Williams come on Evandro has come on. William looking to shake things up. Good touch. Yes, that's what Brazil do so well. They play outside the box. They think outside the box. Three touches is your maximum. Doesn't mean you have to take them all, and you could see that Douglas was looking, itching to have a swing on this ball. Was there an opportunity? Yes, there was, so he took it. Kubiak again, fast arm, gets the ball away before the big blockers can get their hands in the right spot and finish their block. He's buzzing around Brazil. proving to be a real thorn in their side at the moment, and Reynans.
Good up, Kurek. Eager to have a swing, gets into position, becomes available. But Brazil have it in transition. Evandro. Well, he got himself into a bit of a pickle because he wasn't in his usual position coming out to in. He was in court, saw the block, tried to miss it, but had no angles then to find the court. See where he is, he's going in, he's drifting out. He didn't really know what to do with that ball. The youngster, Kohanovsky, has come in to serve. We've gone for a view, that's why we're a bit of a delay, looking to see where there was a touch, there wasn't. Set point, Poland. This set is absolutely moting along. It's Poland in the driving seat. <laughs> Worth a go by Kohanovsky. <laughs> Four side out chances for Poland to go 2 0 up. Before they do that, though, timeout's been called. Pay to serve. Zatorski on a plate for Zhuzhka. Schalpuk. In fact, it was, yes, it was. Schalpuk off the block and away. And Poland take the set 25 20. They lead Brazil 2 0 in this gold medal match. High fives all round. Kubiak in the end is unfortunately my commentary position is a little bit off, a little bit far away. And uh, he's slightly obscured. Got him so quick, doesn't really matter. Kubiak, Shalput, Kurek, they're all playing brilliantly. Could be any one of them. After that mammoth first set, Ireland take the second relatively comfortably 25 20. They're one set away from back to back World Championship gold medals. Set three, underway, must-win set for Brazil. And it shows their intent. They've started with William as the main setter. But it's Poland who take the first point. Just good to serve. Seems to be no stopping Kurek at the moment.
Just pick your spot. Kurek can find it wherever he wants to go. It doesn't matter. Novikovsky will serve. William has come in in this third set. He came in in the third set against Russia. They were 2-0 down, and they won 3-2. Is he going to pull the strings here and turn the tide in Brazil's favour? Whether he is or isn't, they have to do it. Renan Del Zotto has faith in him. The team certainly have faith in him. Wallace to serve. Nicely done by Schalpuk. That's not easy to get past Isaac's block. That one is in, Poland have the point. It is in. So far, it's still so good for Poland, isn't it? Vipe to serve. You just can't write Brazil off, though. They have so much experience of these situations. They've got so much experience of playing at the top, top level of competition. But Kurek is a man possessed. And that's the beauty of sport. The wonderful thing about high-level sport is that it doesn't matter. You can have the best plans, you can be the best team, but if someone puts in a performance and that's it, it happens. There's nothing you can do about it. And right now, Poland are putting in a performance. Wallace has gone too quick. It was a timing issue for Brazil, and they call a timeout. Poland with a big lead in this third set. Better and better for Poland. They're almost into a, a dreamland scenario here. We talk about Kurek. A 
act like a man possessed, so too is Kubiak the captain. another one they've done it they've made another block just go yes i have yes we have douglas with nowhere to go a six point lead here for poland they lead by two sets to nothing isaac gets them out of trouble Kohanovsky. Oh, good serve. It's an ace serve from Kohanovsky. That's why the 20 year old is playing for Poland and playing in a world championship gold medal match. The middle blocker can do that kind of thing, can serve like that. His speed is exceptional through the middle. Forgiven those kind of errors. to the middle that's where Brazil haven't been allowed any room haven't been allowed to get the ball into because of Poland serving Lucas makes the pass, a little low, too low, Kurek! Oh, he didn't make it. It looked like he made a monster of a block. But it's Wallace who comes up with the point. That looked to be a little low, didn't it? But he's got it down. It underneath Kurek. Douglas, Zatorski working hard, so too Wallace. 
Fabulous. Kubiak gets the ball in. Didn't volley particularly high, but got some really good speed out wide to then come and have that attack. Drills it cross court. Poland. They don't really want to be looking at the score right now. And those of you supporting Poland, watching from behind a pillow perhaps, you also don't want to be looking at the scoreboard right now. Focus on each point. Focus on what's happening on court. And stay away from the scoreboard, stay away from the errors. Acknowledge them and move on. Stay in the moment, stay in the now. Oh, that's a belter. Everybody's feeding off of this buzz that Kurek and Kubiak are providing. This energy that they're bringing. And it's making it easy for these guys to, to forget the score, forget the situation, and just enjoy their volleyball. Unforced error from Wallacey. Zhushka, another player, he's gone about his business, very understated, in the right place, in the right time, making the right decisions. He's made a few blocks, had some good serves, made a few pickups, distributed the ball superbly well. Brazil are challenging the decision of the out call. It's not gone their way. Poland moving further away from Brazil. Change is coming. Evandro and Bruno coming in. William and Wallace going out. Oh, yes. Brazil just trying to make something happen. It's Lucas Lowe who's come on to court. Lipe's gone off. Another one for Brazil, but it's still a very comfortable position. Great up by Zatorski. Oh, it doesn't matter because it was a net touch by Brazil. And Poland now moving to the second technical timeout with an excellent lead. What an epic final this is proving to be.
matter where you are watching from, whether it be Northfields or Nova Scotia, I'm sure you are glued to your screens. And for those of you that are supporting Poland, you're just about taking the champagne perhaps out of the fridge and putting it on ice in the bucket. And if you haven't done that yet, you'll probably be thinking about it. There is still a long way to go, and that's certainly what Renan will be telling Brazil. They will not give up. They will not give in. They will never surrender. They are going to keep fighting. It is going to require Poland to keep playing at their absolute best in order to see this one over the line. The fight is on, isn't it, for Brazil? Poland are making them angry. You don't like Brazil when they're angry. keep going on about it really but for a man of that age to be playing the way he is it is fascinating and phenomenal as well just no fear and that's how this whole team are playing one match has come in Konarski is also in three front row attackers for Poland they spread themselves wide oh that was unlucky Kubiak quickly into cover at four but it was a very quick hit by Brazil. Isaac. Good out from Bruno. Ivandro with some work to do, and the roll shot will work because Kubiak this time took his hands out of the way and it allowed Brazil to get the ball through. Isaac again. They're going to let it fly. Let it uh, lie. They're not going to challenge it. It was out. And just like that, we've come back around again. Kornowski to serve once more. for once Poland almost making a mess of it and a, a look to the heavens from Kubiak as Kurek finds the most minuscule of gaps to get that ball through the block he's still call the timer
Ivanovski. Evandro gets the block out. Scratch of the head for Evandro as that one doesn't find its mark. Brazil are siding out, but the problem for Brazil is so too are Poland, and they're not making any inroads into this set score at the moment, into this lead that Poland have, and that suits Poland just fine. Oh, that's a good block. Lucas Lowe shutting down Kubiak. The alarm bells might start ringing here for Poland. another one another serve that Brazil are trying to force the issue trying to make something happen and they end up giving Poland the point it can all sometimes be the way that when you're chasing that things then when you're chasing a, a team that's in front you start to tense up a bit errors creep in Poland making Brazil work for every point here Excellent refereeing. No one's sure whether there was a touch or whether the ball was in out. So they're gonna the first referee, Mr. Pasquale, is just gonna have a look at ball in out. It doesn't mean that there can't be a challenge then from the other team as to whether there was a touch or not. But one thing's for sure, we're gonna find out whether the ball was in or out. And if it was in, then it doesn't matter if it was touched. If it's out match it's a good serve but Poland can side out Adair makes a great touch another chance for Poland just having to play it's a Kubiak he's brought correct way too far inside and now Brazil have a good transition opportunity Vandro off the block and Brazil creeping closer to Poland Adair once again. Oh, it's a good serve again, but that's a wonderful pass from Shalpuk. Kurek couldn't find a way through. Shalpuk waiting. Into transition. Ivandro oh, again, he puts it down. Again, Brazil take the point. And again, they creep closer to Poland. Not over yet. Yeah, and the block, the ball, 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 the ball
He's done it again! Three big swings for Evandro. And Brazil are now just one point behind. They've got Poland on the ropes here. Poland have got to try and get themselves off it and come out fighting again. And for those of you supporting Poland, it might, you might just be getting a little bit twitchy. A huge sigh of relief for the players and the fans as that one doesn't go over. And Poland are now two points away from victory. Well, that's a good serve. If Andros made the error, is Renan going to challenge anything? It doesn't look like he is. It's match point for Poland. Gold medal point. That's the way to deal with the first one. Pipe attack, match point saved. And now Brazil go back to the serving line. Lovely from Douglas, free swing. One side out, two chances. Brazil. Another match point saved. Schalpuk had the swing for glory denied by Isaac. Well, Poland have a timeout should they want to use it. Being some treatment applied to Kubiak, didn't see the injury, he must have gone over on his ankle somewhere as he was going into cover or did something. Just making Bruno wait. Nail biting moment here. The situation's the same for Poland. One side out, but now it's only one chance. The referee's had enough waiting. Bruno with the serve. It's a good serve. Surely it's going to go to Kurek. It is. It's down. And they have done it. Poland have taken gold here in Italy. Back to back world champions. Bartosz Kurek has led this team. And he can enjoy the moment.